Reporting to you live here in Mississauga, Ontario at the Jurassic World Exhibit. It's live from last week, episode 168. Let's go! My fellow G-Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after getting a nice little cute four-hour nap in last night, I headed out to Vaughn to make a Facebook Marketplace purchase today. That matches one of my liquidation bin store purchases I made a week ago. Something that I'm thinking that I might use in a future event. Getting this Deadpool toque for only five bucks. I also had this opportunity on this beautiful spring-like day today to take one of our mini carpool guests that we had recently, my coworker Tiffany, with my new Deadpool toque on, helping her to snowboard at Blue Mountain for the first time this year. And after numerous times trying, I'm proud of her of being able to improve her snowboarding skills so much throughout the day. She didn't fall. She didn't fall. Woo! With it being only her second time on a snowboard in her life. Break, 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 break. What? <laughs> And as usual, doing this post Blue Mountain tradition that we've done in the past, we got some Domino's pizza to celebrate her achievements and the progress that she made earlier today. Cheers. Hot. Anyways, this evening, back at the condo, just editing some Laugh From Last Week videos. I'm off to try to catch up on some lost sleep and I'll just see you guys again once I'm a little bit more rested up tomorrow. So once again, after passing out last night, my body had automatically woke me up early fully knowing that I had approached my six hours of sleep a day limit. So trying to be productive by washing all the dishes that were in the sink this morning, I was able to tire myself out and pass out a little bit for a decent nap, accumulating a rare more than eight hours of sleep in a 24 hour period day before just editing some laugh from last week videos prior to going in for one single night shift tonight. But first we have a birthday greeting to one of my friends out there who I went to a winter group cottage getaway with them at Blue Mountain several years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kylie. Happy birthday, Kylie. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my university friends out there of whom I remember going to second year clinicals with them back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrea. Happy birthday, Andrea. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So quickly, today we'll start off with a birthday shout out to one of my American friends who I know from visiting Connecticut whenever I would meet up with my Manunghead there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Cassie. Happy birthday, Cassie. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my high school science teachers of whom I'm always reminded of whenever I see these skeletal models. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bradshaw. Happy birthday, Bradshaw. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my Manungs out there who likes to travel the world and who I used to visit every summer in Connecticut. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Manung Mary B. Happy birthday, Mary B. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now moving on, after a steady night shift last night... Just like I did, as you guys remember, several months ago, I made my way to the local Ryan's Express Lube as a repeat customer to get the Baby Minis oil and filter changed as per scheduled maintenance. 
And guys, while I was waiting, I decided to do something that I've always wanted to do while I was here. Using the Keurig they have here and making myself a coffee while enjoying some tea biscuits while the baby mini was being worked on. And guys, later on, I learned to find out that this would be a big mistake. As after the job on the mini was finished and I got back to the condo to try to take my post night shift nap, I just couldn't pass out or fall asleep. So guys, trying to be productive, I just spent my whole day editing my lengthy but jam-packed live from last week episode 167 before going out this evening to have some good volleyball games. But being frustrated with my performance, making mistake. <laughs> After mistake, oh after another mistake, <laughs> probably attributed to the fact that I didn't sleep at all after my night shift. But all in all guys, we did have a great time playing some competitive indoor pickup volleyball games once again with the Midtown Toronto Group. Guys, my sleep pattern is messed up. After not sleeping at all yesterday, I woke up around 5.45 in the morning after four and a half hours of sleep, getting up way before the sunrise. So I decided to be productive editing some Lab From Last Week videos in the dark until I was able to look outside the window, catching the actual sunrise once the sun peeked over the horizon. Anyways, recalling some of these clips in the recent past, guess who was looking out for a flash sale, booking themselves to attend this event that they've always wanted to go to in early March. As well as remembering some of my nephew's impressions when he was younger, Being all excited today, we went to the Square One area of Mississauga to catch the limited time experience of the Jurassic World Exhibition. <laughs>
after a fun time where we had some of these live action shots. You would have to devour nearly 5,000 salads every single day. This doesn't look okay. good. <laughs> As well as a review of the exhibition from the wife herself. Yeah, so what is your review of the Jurassic World exhibit? Three star out of three. <laughs> like, the, like the dinosaur claw. The claw? What was your favorite part? I like the I like the petting of the baby animals, the baby dinosaurs, and the uh, the T-Rex at the end when Jay almost got eaten. <laughs> We headed here to the Saga home to chill for the evening to spend some time with the puppy Sesame. Oh, look at this. Sesame! <laughs> Be the Uber Eats driver to pick up food for the family for dinner. Rewatching events and characters that we may have portrayed in the past. We headed over to 52 to do a planned murder mystery dinner with me being Dr. Henry Wu and reliving the fun times that we had earlier by watching the actual movie of Jurassic World as well as spending time with the birthday boy, the father-in-law who I enjoy sharing beers with whenever I'm in Mississauga. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tito Jan. Happy birthday Tito Jan. I'm hoping that at this time, you and the family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah guys, now that it's getting late, it's time to head back to the condo in Scarborough, and I'll just catch you guys again on another busy day tomorrow. So first of all today, we have a belated birthday greeting to one of my Rubik's Cube Challenger cousins out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you Makmar. Happy birthday Mak. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my nieces out there who has made several Live From Last Week cameos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you Lena. Happy birthday Lena. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah, after passing out for only four hours earlier, and getting up way before the sunrise, I edited videos for a little bit while it was still early in the morning, before looking at the forecast of rain earlier today, and rushing to catch the GO train at the Scarborough GO station in order to meet up with one of my former co-workers that you guys have seen in previous Live From Last Week episodes to catch the Toronto FC home opener at BMO Field this afternoon.
So guys, first of all, today, just like I did around the same time last year, I'm wearing my Super Mario shirt. Cause if you haven't heard already, today is March 10, AKA Super Mario Day. Happy Super Mario Day, guys. But quickly, let's summarize that memorable day that we had just yesterday. Well, once I got on the GO train and arrived at the exhibition GO station, where I saw that they finally have up and functional their newest pedestrian bridge that looks over the GO station as well as the downtown area, of which I was able to use for the first time. I eventually was able to meet up with my former coworker, Ramez, in Liberty Village to experience a pre-match march to the football stadium with some of these epic scenes in this atmosphere. We eventually made our way to the supporters section of BMO Field to catch the first half action before checking out our behind the home bench seats, which has some of the best views in the stadium, getting close up videos of the manager in action, as well as seeing up close TFC Italian stars Federico Bernardeschi and Lorenzo Insigne in live action for the first time and witnessing greatness with this Magical moment. Juan Lorenzo! And post game, guys, Ramez and I were able to fanboy just a little bit. Meeting and shaking hands with the TFC manager himself, John Herdman. as getting in-person pictures and videos with some of the other TFC players. Can I take a quick video with you? Yo, great game, Shane. man. Great clean sheet. Including the man of the match himself. <laughs> Lorenzo. Ciao. 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 Ciao, Lorenzo. Grazie mille. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, quick picture. Guys, I'm never washing this hand again. <laughs> Anyways, next up, we went to a place that I've always wanted to go to in the area, a hotspot for sliders called Pennies, where we celebrated the victory with some beers and their Panzerati Deluxe. And did I mention to you guys that they have this free popcorn machine area, which you guys know I definitely took advantage of. We were also joined a little bit later by one of our other former co-workers, Sydney, to try out some of their sliders and tater tots off the menu. Cheers! Many sliders!
as well as another special guest of the day, Gomes, to share a couple more drinks before our table limit of two hours was up. Cheers! <laughs> Next, we had a nice walk through the Fort York area to this bar called Cherry's High Dive in the Fashion District to try out some raspberry mojitos. Cheers, guys! Before moving on to our last bar hopping stop of the night, the Loose Moose, to have some raspberry lemonade to top off a fun and productive day. Hi, right, cheers. We miss you, Remez. <laughs> but now, on to this morning, where I thought I had a decent sleep, getting up at around 7.44, seven hours after I initially passed out, but was wondering with my body clock how I only got less than six hours of sleep. It's actually because I did lose an hour of sleep because last night was daylight savings time. Either way, I headed to Sunday morning Catholic Mass with my Mario shirt on for Mario Day to the St. Lawrence the Martyr Catholic Church before coming back to the condo to put on my Mario overalls just like I did here going to downtown Chinatown with the wife to the Dim Sum King restaurant to get some dim sum lunch here with all this delicious food and the company of our friends to celebrate our friend G's achievements in passing her PT exam. I think G, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Anywho, now back being in the condo to try to rest up before I go in for my first of a scheduled two night shifts tonight. I'm pretty excited that Toronto FC had used some of the footage that we caught on video from yesterday afternoon of that magnificent goal by Insigne. Lorenzo! Hey! No! After doing a night shift where I only got three hours of sleep post-shift, I got up thinking with all the love that we gave to Mario during Mario Day yesterday and throwing back to this Live From Last Week episode. So I decided to go to another liquidation store that I missed out on, but I still managed to find a couple of items that did catch my eye. We gotta at least give some love to his brother, Luigi too. Boom! All right, that's better. But anyways, before I go in for my second night shift in a row tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my titas in the Philippines who coined the term Super Red that we still use here in Canada when it comes to traffic, especially in Manila. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tita Nina. Happy birthday, Tita Nina. And we got a birthday shout out to one of my Lionheart cousins out there who has made several cameos after cameos after cameos on previous Laugh From Last Week episodes. And with whom I can't wait to check out the Toronto Comic Con with later on this week. This birthday shout out goes out to you Louie. Happy birthday Lou. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And with that guys, we'll wrap up this busy and eventful Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.